Father Peter's works here in Africa spans over a period of 50 years. Uh, he first worked in uh, Tanzania, and then called Tanganyika as a priest before coming to, to Kenya. But he, the works that he was doing, which uh, now had centered at uh, prison, mostly Langata women's prison, it expanded uh, very fast. And uh, in his own wisdom, he saw it fit that he formalizes uh, his works. So he founded Faraja Society before 2005. And in 2007, because of the need to ensure that his works outlive him, he converted the society into a trust. Prisons was a no-go zone. You were assumed you are a criminal if you have any interest in going to the prisons. So for the Peter opening this up, even before the government ever thought of reforms in the prisons and opening the prisons and making them an open society, Father Peter was already there. Something else special also is we have children in prisons with their mothers. Father Peter built the first daycare center in Langata Women Prison. His vision was to make it a shining light and that all the other prisons in the country also get to have daycare centers because these children who are zero to four are in prison with their mothers and sometimes they spend the whole day with their mothers and the inmates and you can imagine what a child would pick from that environment. So his desire was that children spend a whole day with, with amongst other children, to be normal children. That is very, very special. There is a, a bakery in Langata Women Prison, which Father Peter started, so that women can get skills for livelihood, so that when they leave prison, they can have something that they can do. Because many of the women in the prisons, including men, are there because of economic issues, poverty and employment. And sometimes the prisons does not provide very, very modern skills. And so we wanted, he wanted to give them skills to compete with other people out of the prisons. Those are the few that I could say in Langata are very, very special, including a computer lab that he built there, a school so that people can be empowered to be artists, you know, compete with other people outside the world. Father Peter basically is a, was a prisoner outside the prison. The first thing that he really did without fail was celebrating the Eucharist uh, with the Langata women every Sunday. He did that until about two years ago when he had uh, an accident and had to go to Switzerland for treatment. He, he never failed. Even when he had gotten the accident and uh, kind of been disposed, he had one, one wish, and he told us, and that was to supply beds to all the Kenyan women prisons. As a foundation, we are happy that we were able to commence and complete uh, that project. That is his last uh, project with us at the foundation. Of course, whatever we do is his legacy. Father Peter has been a great pillar of support to the Kenya prison service, and especially to Langata Women Prison. He was a Dali, a human rights champion, a source of moral, spiritual, and economic support. He had love for the clients, particularly to the prison, cap prisoners, capital remandis, and those condemned to suffer death had no boundaries. He was a father that would come to their rescue at any time they called upon him. <laughs>